TubeBuddy now available for iOS. And in order to celebrate the release of TubeBuddy on the iOS platform, here are the seven steps that I use to grow my channel. Brian G. Johnson. Hey, it's me, Brian G. Welcome back to the channel. If it's your first time, it's a pleasure. Do this, stake your claim, and amplify your message by subscribing. Click the bell notification and you'll be on your way. Want to let you know that this is indeed a sponsored video and I'm proud to sponsor TubeBuddy. I was a happy customer, user, way before there was any kind of like deal or partnership that is going on. This strategy always works and I know that's a bold claim, but hear me out. You see, the problem is if you just start uploading and publishing videos, it's easy to make a whole bunch of mistakes. This strategy eliminates those mistakes. Step number one, popular topic ritual. You've got to begin by identifying a popular topic on YouTube. And furthermore, that topic has to be able to support a lot of different keyword phrases that are very specific in nature. For example, let's play Overwatch. It's not a great example because it's just not specific enough. We don't know exactly what the viewer wants to get out of the video. However, Soldier 76, which is one of the characters in the game, that's more specific. We know that the viewer is not just interested in Overwatch, but player 76, and we can even go deeper and identify the fact that there are people searching for Soldier 76 rocket jump. That's really specific. And we know, based on the search term, exactly what the viewer is trying to get out of the video. And have you ever thought about this? You know, people always talk about value. You've gotta give viewers value. And the easiest way to deliver value is to first understand what somebody wants out of a video. And that's where these specific keyword phrases are very powerful because it's easy to identify what somebody wants. And by the way, this works in any niche at all. For example, don't make a video on how to garden. It's too broad. We don't know what somebody wants. Heck, they don't even know what they really want. Furthermore, that keyword phrase is just too competitive. 260,000 views, 443,000 views, and heck, you're competing with Martha Stewart. Don't do that. Instead, create a video based on something like how to create a butterfly garden. And notice one of the ranking videos only has 8,800 views and no Martha Stewart. I mean, would you rather compete against videos with three, 400,000 views or less than 9,000? It's a no brainer. Now, this is where we're gonna lose a few viewers, but if you really want success, trust me on this. You're gonna want to identify at least 100, 150 of these very specific keyword phrases in your niche. And they all have to be very related to one another. Later, we're gonna drop these into a playlist. We'll get to that in just a bit. And furthermore, we're gonna use TubeBuddy to filter down this list. So once you've identified a topic that supports a whole lot of keyword phrases, at least 100, and those keyword phrases are specific in nature, then you can move on to step number two. Here's where we're gonna create a keyword list. As mentioned, later we'll filter it down. Take the time to dig in. The more you understand how viewers are thinking, the kind of words they use, the kind of keyword phrases they're searching for, well, the better decisions you'll make and it's gonna help you grow. Now, if you're on a computer, create a list of these keyword phrases and you'll wanna save it. Don't add those keywords to TubeBuddy yet because we're gonna choose the cream of the crop the very best keyword phrases. Now, if you're on an iPhone or an iPad, well, sit down with a pad of paper, a pen, and jot down the keyword phrases you identify exactly. It's really important that you write down the exact keyword phrases. Now, you can fumble between apps, but I just find it easier to stay on YouTube. You don't need to be in TubeBuddy at this point and just search through and identify keyword phrases you find. And here's how you can identify those keyword phrases. Simply jump to the YouTube search bar and type in something like gardening. And here you're gonna find what I call the top level searches. These usually drive more views, but they're also more competitive. Write them down regardless, because sometimes you'll find a gem. Next, simply add the letter A and then B, 
and then C and so on. Scroll through the alphabet and you'll identify so many keyword phrases based around the niche that you're looking in. Now, if you're wondering about TubeBuddy, well, that's coming up in the next step. But again, take your time to research and identify how those viewers that you want as subscribers, well, how they're thinking and how they're searching. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, please consider liking, commenting, or sharing. Thank you so much. And that brings us to step number three, the TubeBuddy Tag Explorer ritual. Now, here's where we're gonna reduce that big list to a list of anywhere between 30 and 50 cream of the crop keyword phrases that'll help you kick some serious butt on YouTube. You dig? So how exactly do you filter down those keywords? Well, in this example, I'm looking at the keyword phrase, how to garden for beginners. And as you can see, that particular keyword phrase generated a whole bunch of additional phrases. I found three that I liked, and they are as follows. How to start a vegetable garden for beginners. How to plant a vegetable garden for beginners. Now those two keyword phrases are nearly identical, but one of them would be easier to rank for, to drive views for, and we wanna identify which one. Here's how. Now you'll wanna run each keyword phrase on your list through the TubeBuddy Tag Explorer. And as you can see in this image, I found a tremendous keyword phrase right out of the gate. It's got an overall scoring of 74. It's got low search volume. However, the competition is low. Food for thought. Now, a lot of people think, well, Brian, I've, I've heard this before, but the problem is that these keyword phrases don't have enough search volume. And that's true, but hear me out. Number one, just five views a day can lead to a video getting pushed into suggested videos. Furthermore, publish a video with great audience retention. Publish a video that people love and it can show up on the YouTube homepage. That's the browse traffic source. Furthermore, it can show up in suggested videos. And even though you're targeting a keyword phrase that's easier to rank for, you can still get a tremendous amount of views. And I much rather see you target a keyword phrase that you can drive some views for than going after a keyword phrase that's very, very challenging to drive any views for. Food for thought. But what about that second keyword phrase, how to plant a vegetable garden for beginners? Notice the search volume is higher with a score of 44. However, the competition is also a bit higher. It's not terrible, it's got a score of 38. Now this is another great keyword phrase, one that I target, but the overall score is 73. So I'm gonna choose the first keyword phrase that had an overall score of 74. And our last keyword phrase is how to garden flowers for beginners. This keyword phrase returns the best overall score and this is exactly how you wanna proceed with every single keyword phrase on your list. And you wanna keep the keyword phrases that have an overall very good score or above. Figure anything above a score of 70. Obviously, you wanna remove any keyword phrase that results in a bad score and notice the bar near the scoring will turn orange to red and red means stop. And step number four, the TubeBuddy video topic ritual. Now in this example, gardening tips for tomatoes, it's got a great score, I wanna keep it, so I'll do this. Simply click the TubeBuddy navigation icon on the left if you're on an iPhone or iPad, then click on topic planner, click on add topic, and then begin with the exact keyword phrase you found in YouTube. That part is really important. Make sure you begin your video topic with the exact keyword phrase you wanna target later. That way you'll remember what the target keyword phrase is. And after adding the exact keyword phrase, add a dash and then add compelling element. And we'll talk more about the compelling element as we move forward. Next, click done. And perfect, you'll have an exact keyword list, a video topic list, where each video topic begins with an exact keyword phrase you wanna target. I wanna be really clear, it's super important that all your video topics are very much related to each other. Later, we'll add those videos into a playlist that'll help you drive even more views, and that's the whole process here. We're starting with a topic, we've got keywords, we're filtering only the best keywords, 
and this works so very well. By the way, the free version of the TubeBuddy plugin is limited to five video topics. Feel free to upgrade using the link in the description. Use the coupon code Brian's Buddy and you'll save 20%. It's well worth the investment. It's such a great plugin. However, if that's not a possibility, simply use another app like Apple Notes to create a list of the keywords you want to target. Simple. And step number five, commit to a schedule and publish. The fact of the matter is most YouTubers that struggle, they don't publish enough videos. You know, the algorithm is slow. It takes time for videos to get pushed out and to start really driving views. Don't give up before the magic happens. So commit to at least publishing one video every week. And if you're a real go-getter, then go public. How can you do that? Well, mention in your videos when you publish. Mention on your YouTube channel art again when you publish. Check my channel art and you'll notice I publish on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. When you mention to viewers when you publish, you'll be more likely to do just that. It will apply fire and pressure. And you know what? Sometimes that's a good thing. Sometimes having some pressure in our lives will keep us on track, will keep us publishing, and it's really important to growth on YouTube. You know, speaking of uploading, this is where a lot of YouTubers <laughs> Well, they struggle and they really mess things up. If you do this consistently, again, I guarantee you're gonna see results. Begin your video title with the exact keyword phrase you identified. This is very powerful. YouTube has told us again and again that they reward relevancy. The YouTube search results are sorted by relevance. For example, you'll notice that this video begins with the phrase, how to grow a channel with TubeBuddy. Why? Because it's a keyword phrase that people are searching for. And thus, my title begins with that exact phrase. It works, it's powerful. If you follow the rule, you'll drive more views over time. Next, begin your video description again with the exact keyword phrase. What will happen is your video metadata, the tags, the description, the title, the closed captions will be very relevant to this one keyword phrase and you'll win. Oh, lastly, the tags and the thumbnail, so incredibly important. We'll talk more about those in just a second. And step number six, the playlist ritual. Did you know that YouTube has gone on record saying that videos that belong to an official playlist are more likely to show up in the creator's suggested video section? It's true. And having more of your videos show up in suggested can only lead to more views. So as you publish videos, make sure you add each video to the same playlist. Even better, why not create a playlist title based on some of the seed keywords you first identified as you were going through steps one and two, super powerful. Here's how you can do that. Simply identify a two or a three word phrase that really relates to all the videos you'll be publishing and adding to this particular playlist. Easy, awesome, more views for you consecutively. Now obviously more views are awesome, but this is important. You really wanna publish the videos that you've added to your video topics list. You wanna be consecutive. You wanna identify one theme or topic, and then you want to consecutively publish videos on that topic because that is what will bring subscribers back to watch your next video. Your success will be found in your next video, especially when you just keep on keeping on and publishing more videos. It always works. Now, if you want to branch out, that's fine, but begin this process from the beginning. Start with identifying a topic, and this time you really want to ensure this topic relates to your first topic. For example, maybe you've got a playlist on uh, container gardening, on butterfly gardening, and on herb 
gardening. These are all related. They are under the umbrella of gardening. It's important. And that's how you branch out. And step number seven, more views and more watch time, ritual style. It's consistency that is rewarded on YouTube. Look at any of the new channels that are blowing up and time and time again, you'll see they're consistent on their topic. You'll see that they're consistent with their publishing style. I dare you to follow this strategy for 60 to 90 days and watch what happens. I dare ya. Now after you publish your last video, then start focusing on publishing your next video right away. The goal being you wanna make that video better than what you published last time. And when you continue to be consistent, when you continue to publish and you're striving for better, things get pretty exciting. Oh, by the way, when you're about six weeks in, you're gonna be thinking this totally doesn't work, that jerk. And the truth of the matter is, it does work. However, the YouTube algorithm rewards videos slowly, especially when you're a small channel, because you can't drive two or three or 5,000 views in a few days. Thus, you can't accumulate the needed watch time. However, as you continue to publish, you'll gain more subscribers, they'll come back and watch, you'll drive even more views, and one day, you will be able to drive 3,000 views in 48 hours, and I just did that. That was impossible just six months ago. This system works. How can you drive even more views? At the end of your video, well, don't forget to leverage the ritual handoff. What's that? Simply tell viewers at the end of your video to watch the next video. For example, earlier I mentioned about YouTube tags. Check out that video in the YouTube card right now. It'll help you drive even more views with your tags. That is the ritual handoff. I just handed viewers from one video and I handed them off to another video and that has resulted in as much as 10 to 20% more views on every video I publish and it's just that easy. Even better, new feature alert. YouTube is currently rolling out thumbnail impressions as well as click-through ratio data in analytics. This is a big deal and can help you drive even more views and more watch time. Check out that video in the YouTube card right now. Highly recommended and do this. If you wanna grow a channel, make sure to subscribe. Click on the B to the G yellow icon below. You'll subscribe. I'll continue to share the strategies and tactics that have allowed me to grow and you'll feed a poodle. I got two and they're hungry. I'll see you next time. Hey, thanks for watching. You dig?